Good morning. Welcome to your 815 Daily Operations Weather Briefing. We have some very pleasant conditions this morning across the region, seeing some slightly below average temperatures to start the day. A low here last night of 46 at Wallops. That's a bit cooler than it was expected due to the light winds and clear skies really allowing that radiational cooling to take its effect. Even seeing some upper 30s in the center of the peninsula last night. So, so chilly conditions, but we'll see the temperatures rebound quite nicely today in the mid-70s before we see a little bit more of a chilly day for Thursday. Overall for today, slightly breezy westerly northwesterly winds this afternoon should be under wind advisory criteria, however, and no chance of precipitation or lightning as high pressure remains in control across our area. Current surface analysis, high pressure in control. Uh, we have this weak trough or weak cold front that's going to move through later today. Not really going to give us much in the way of weather other than a wind shift for overnight. We have powerful Hurricane Milton making its way towards Florida and hopefully will weaken as it moves towards the peninsula for today into tonight. As look at our current conditions, we have a few clouds at 25,000 feet, calm winds, temperature 50 degrees, and relative humidity around 85%. So looking at our current satellite imagery, you can see we do have mostly clear skies across the region this morning, seeing a little bit of that upper level cirrus cloudiness well off in the south of the horizon this morning. Overall, lots of sunshine today and expect the next several days across our region. Looking at the herd model for today, you can see we'll have that cirrus cloudiness from what will be uh, Milton making and approaching landfall in Florida. But we'll have that cirrus cloudiness moving the whole way up the east coast, uh, giving us some partly cloudy skies to start tomorrow morning, and then looking like mostly sunny skies by tomorrow afternoon. And taking a look at our risk chart for today, green chart across the board, some slightly breezy winds out of the west and northwest. Uh, for this afternoon, gusting as high as 22, 22 knots Excuse me, at times. We'll see a high day of 74, lots of sunshine, low tonight around 50, uh, with uh, our winds continuing to remain above um, 5 knots, so 7 to 12 knots overnight. And usually once we get below 5 knots, our winds are able to decouple and giving us some more radiational cooling effect. But overall, uh, for tonight, we'll see those winds remain up and keeping our overnight low in the lower 50s. As far as our 24-hour terminal forecast goes, we'll see VFR conditions in the next 24 hours. Uh, we'll have mostly sunny and partly cloudy skies by tomorrow morning with just some, mainly some serious cloudiness across the region. Our tides are running normal. Look at Thursday and Friday. Thursday, mostly sunny and cooler, high of only 65. Thursday night, mostly clear and unseasonably cool, a low of 44. And for Friday, mostly sunny and pleasant, high of 67. Green charts across the board. Some really nice weather in store through the end of the work week. Well, that's going to complete our A15 daily operations weather brief. Hope everybody has a great day today. Back at 10 o'clock. Look next seven days.